Hey everybody, welcome to Glacier Online. We are continuing with our series called Upside Down, which is where we talk about the things that God and Jesus say in the Bible that seem upside down to the way we normally think. But they're really describing God's actual plan for humanity, and we kind of get it wrong as humans. So the upside down plan of God is actually right side up, and our way of thinking is actually upside down. So uh, that's what we're talking about. But before we get started in that, we are going to get a silly video going. So here we go. All right, everybody, so the game you can try today is called the Cotton Ball Toss. And you're only gonna need two items to play this game. You're gonna need cotton balls and three cups. Uh, so you set your cups on a table. Uh, you're gonna put one close to you and probably about you know three feet away from you. And then you do space out of foot, put another one, space out of foot, put another one. Um, and so those will be your targets. And from one end of the table, you're gonna toss your cotton balls. You'll have a bowl of cotton balls. Um, and if you get it into the land in the first cup, that's five points. If you get it to land in the middle cup, it's 10. And in the farthest cup, if you get it to land there, it's 15. So you'll throw your cotton balls and tally up your score. And then somebody else can try and each side is just try to see who gets the best score. So that is the cotton ball toss. It's pretty simple, but it's fun. I hope you guys enjoy. Next up is a Bible video. It's a retelling of the Sermon on the Mount, which is a very famous sermon that Jesus gave. And in this part of the sermon, he's talking about treasures and where we focus our heart, where we focus our heart. And so um, he has a little bit of an upside down view. We kind of think here on earth uh, that we really need to value all the stuff we have, money, food, provisions, because we need to survive and we want to be comfortable and we want to be entertained. But Jesus is saying that that's not really important. What's really important is a relationship with God. He says that we should put our, our treasures in heaven. Because he says, where your treasure is, there your heart is also. And if our treasure is in all our stuff, then our heart's not really in a relationship with God. It's, it's devoted to all our stuff. And so what Jesus is really saying in this passage, as you watch the video, I want you to think about this. He's saying it's really important to have a relationship with God because that is what lasts. We can't take all of our stuff with us to heaven, but we can take our relationship with God with us to heaven. It will continue. And so we need to focus on what really matters, a relationship with God. And it's not, it doesn't mean that we have to renounce all the stuff we have. You have to go sell everything. And you, that doesn't, that's not what God's saying. But he's saying our focus should be on a relationship with God because God can show us exactly what we need to do. He knows the way, the truth, and the life. And he will lead us there. He can provide for us. If we focus on a relationship with God, God will direct us through this life. And we don't have to focus on all the stuff. So that's what this video is about. I hope you guys can think about that as you watch it and then check out the reflection questions and we will see you guys next week. One day, Jesus was speaking to thousands of people. Hey, Jesus! When someone asked him about money, he told them a story and tried to explain to the people that our treasure is not on earth, but in heaven. Then he turned to one of his disciples and said, that is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life whether you have enough food to eat or enough clothes to wear, for life is more than food and your body more than clothing. Uh, I guess. Look at the ravens. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns because God feeds them. 
and you are far more valuable to God than any birds. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you think that by worrying about anything, you can add a single moment to your life? And if worry can't do a little thing like that, what's the use of worrying over bigger things? That's a good point. Look at all the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, the great king of Israel, in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for flowers that are here today and thrown away tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. And don't worry about what to eat or what to drink. Uh, okay. Many people worry about these things, but God already knows what you need. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and he will give you everything you need. So don't be afraid, for it makes God happy to take care of you and give you his kingdom. So share what you have with others and give to those who need. There you go. Thank you. Sorry. Hi. Then you'll be storing up treasure in heaven. And when your treasure is in heaven, it's going to be safe. No thief can steal it. Whatever. And no bug can destroy it. Man, whatever. Wherever your treasure is, there your heart will be also.